Welcome to the Exact Contact tutorial series. This tutorial provides instructions on how to use some of the advanced features of the content editor found in Exact Contact. The content editor is a WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get tool that can be used to create graphical emails and letters. It can also be used to create your custom email header as well as your signature that can be used in your emails and letters. The editor works much like a word processor program in order to format text create bulleted or numbered lists, and copy and paste content from other sources. The purpose of this tutorial is to provide instructions on the more advanced features of the content editor that will allow you to create graphical emails and letter designs that really stand out. We will use the content editor to create a mass email in order to demonstrate. Start by clicking the mass email button in the main menu, and then click Create New Email tab at the top of the page. The content editor is the big box about halfway down the page where you will create your email content. The toolbar buttons at the top of the editor provide access to the various editor functions. Exact Contact allows you to create and manage your own library of picture files, which you can upload for your, from your own computer and then insert into your emails and letters. Note that you have one common image library regardless of which area of Exact Contact you are using the content editor. To upload one or more pictures from your computer, start by clicking the Insert Image button in the Content Editor toolbar. Then click the Upload button and navigate to and select the picture file that you have on your computer. Your uploaded picture is added to your image library in alphabetical order by default. To insert the picture into your email, find it in the alphabetically sorted list, highlight it, and click the Insert button. To insert an image already in your image library, click the location on the body of the content editor where you want to insert the image, click the Insert Image button, Simply find your picture in your image library list and click Insert. If an inserted image is not the correct size to your email or letter design, you can easily resize it. Simply click the image to select it. Click the Insert Image button again. And scroll down to the bottom of the pop-up and enter either the height or the width that you want to apply to the image and click Insert. In order to ensure that when resizing an image, it maintains its original proportions and does not become distorted, make sure that you enter either the width or the height for the image and not both. Now we will show you how to insert hyperlinks into your emails. You can easily insert either, hype, either text or images. Adding a text hyperlink can be done in one of two ways. You can either select the location where you wish to insert the hyperlink and click the Insert Hyperlink button in the Editor toolbar and enter the web address, which is where your link will go to, and the text for your image and click Insert. Alternatively, you can type the text for your hyperlink into the email first. I like the text. Click the Insert Hyperlink button and just enter the web address. In order to hyperlink an image in your email, after inserting the image, Click it to highlight it, click the Insert Hyperlink button, and just enter the web address. And your image will be hyperlinked. In addition to inserting contact-specific salutations above the email or letter body uh, content, 
you can also insert contact specific merge fields right into the body of the content of your email or letter. This can be used to give your content a really personalized feel. To do this, simply click on the location in the content where you wish to insert the merge field. And using the list in the editor toolbar titled Insert Merge Field, select the merge field you want to insert. You can either insert the full salutation, only the name part of the salutation, or the main contact last name. A placeholder is inserted into your email that be, will be replaced by the personalized salutation of each contact for each individual email that you send out. Note that although your actual emails or letters will include the salutation of each individual recipient, preview emails and letters display a placeholder like Dear Jane or John. The last topic we are going to cover is tables. You can use tables in your emails or letters when you want to use a grid style design in order to separate and arrange areas of text and or pictures. To insert a table into your email, click on the location in the body content where you wish to insert it and click the create table button in the editor toolbar. You can either use the grid to select the number of rows and columns you want for your table, or you can click the table wizard in order to enter more specific table options. I'm going to select a four by four table to insert using the grid. Once inserted, the editor displays a grid of the table for you to work with. Note that the grid lines do not display in your actual email unless you explicitly format the table to do so. You can apply whatever formatting you want by clicking anywhere in the table and clicking the table wizard button that appears in the editor toolbar. Buttons also become available in the toolbar in order to insert or remove rows or columns from your table. To insert content into a table cell, simply click inside the cell and enter your text or pictures. The row and column widths and heights automatically adjust to accommodate your content. You now know how to use the features of the content editor in Exact Contact in order to create graphical, attention-grabbing, personalized emails and letters that will wow your contacts.